Greg stopped again, hasn't he? Is this going to be one of those things where I have to walk at his pace because he's meant to be guiding me? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, this is going to be fun. Alright. You guys get the hell over there. Alright, come on, Greg. My old Greg! Follow me! Mighty Boosh references, why not? <laughs> he just ran head first into those zombies. Oh, and this is another scoop uh, for someone from the North Plaza, which I just came from. Um, but I'm not going to go get that guy right now. A lot of people say take these three. Go back to the North Plaza, get him, then go through the toilet shortcut with all four. Um, I don't do that. I go back, because there's plenty of time at this point anyway, because again, the game has pacing issues. I like to... Uh, go back for him separately. This is where the shortcut is, through the, uh, oddly enough, through the mirror in the toilets. I don't understand it either, but that's how it works. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like to go back for him separately, and, uh, yeah, part of the reason is because I don't trust Survivor AI. The other part of the reason is that you have to, because he's injured, you have to offer him a shoulder. And while you're carrying him, you're immune to uh, zombies grabbing you, but the other survivors aren't. And I usually find when I take them with me to get David, they'll shoot me, they'll slice me, they'll, they'll get caught on things, and then I'll have to let go of David, go back, help them, then go grab David again because he can't walk, and it's just a giant pain in the ass, so... Give Greg here again. Yes. Greg's got again. And um, we'll take these guys back to the security room. We'll Come hop on. over to North Plaza. And then we'll run poor old David back. Um, and I think it'll actually be quicker to run him across Leisure Park than to um, take the shortcut I just used. And like I said, I don't want to pop to Wonderland Plaza for another small chain, so I've got two of them. That'll last me probably the entire game. Um, those guys are coming, right? Yep, there's you. There's Shinji. And Greg suck. <laughs> you know? Shinji's running into a wall. Get off it. Uh, <laughs> I hate the survivors. <laughs> and people ask why saints, the achievement where you have to save 50 of these guys, is a pain in the ass. I'll tell you. <laughs> because that the happy idiots. Look at this, the, guys, the zombie's right behind him. He wouldn't have seen it if I hadn't have killed it. Ah, damn it. Ah, mini chainsaws. You know what? If these aren't anywhere in the mall for me to maul, even, I'm not that American. I'm not American. You know, it's a maul, not a mall, I think. Okay. Anyway, if there's nowhere where you can pick up the mini chainsaws normally, how the hell did Adam the Clown get his? I mean, don't tell me he brought mini chainsaws into work with him that day and just thought, ah, there might be a zombie apocalypse, you know, bring the chainsaws. Seriously. Oh, and um, good idea is if you've given someone a weapon like a shotgun, when you get them back to the warehouse, pick up, say, like a toolbox or something once you're in the elevator, give them that, they'll drop the shotgun, you can pick it up, and you can reuse that shotgun for another survivor. That way you don't have to keep going back to the gun shop to pick up more guns, because you just go, here you go, here's a useless weapon, because we're now back anyway, and you pick your shotgun back up and pass that on to another survivor and they have infinite bullets when the survivors are using them too so 
Win, 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 win. Alright, let's go back for David. But yeah, that's, that's quite a handy tip to remember because I know a lot of people tend to go, Oh no, they had my shotgun and now I've got to go back to North Plaza and pick up another shotgun. No, just hand them a lead pipe out of the warehouse. I'll drop the shotgun. You can pick it back up. I really repeat myself too much. I probably shouldn't hammer these points home quite so badly. But there you go, that's me. You're going to have to put up with it. Well, either put up with it or watch someone else's Let's Play. Please don't watch someone else's Let's Play. Watch mine. I like mine. And I like when people watch mine, too. Because that doesn't make me sound sad or weird at all. Can't touch this. Single zombie, not a single zombie can grab hold of me. It's excellent. I'm gonna have to start singing that badly again when I've got David, because then they literally cannot touch you. <laughs> again, the skateboard is something I will likely keep for the rest of the game now as well. It's just so handy. And again, there's a lot of people who don't know about it. There's a lot of people who have spent ages making those little quicksep drinks I mentioned earlier. And it's like, dude, just grab a frickin' skateboard. It's faster. <laughs> you can just keep it with you. You get, like, at level 50, you've got about 12 item slots. I can understand if you're, like, only just starting the game and you're only maybe level 10 or so. Um... Because, you know, item slots are precious, and if you're using the small chainsaw technique, you've got the three books and one set of small chainsaws, and that's probably all the items you can carry, you know. So obviously you get more, you can carry more items as you level up. Um, but at this point in the game, and you know, who cares? You're level 50, you can carry 12 things! Help me. Help me. <laughs> that is Dev. Right, Dev. <laughs> I'm gonna be a gay. I'm gonna eat his food while I talk to him. Yeah, that's nice and rude anyway, but I need to get my health back up. He's got lots of food. And ooh, is that coffee creamer? That's coffee creamer. Yay. <laughs> oh. Zombie. Great. And again, I don't want to hit them in case I hit David and knock off half his bloody health. Which is the only problem with the small chainsaws and, like, the real mega blaster and that. If, like, if you're trying to take something out and the survivor runs across your path, if you will, um, which they do a lot because they're stupid, you will kill them. <laughs> I've killed people with the real Mega Blaster before when trying to fight the convicts, which is a couple of playthroughs ago when I decided that's it, I'm just going to try and sneak past them because the amount of time I end up shooting and killing a survivor trying to take out those convicts. It's silly. Now watch this, not a single zombie will be able to grab me while I'm carrying David. Now imagine how much more frustrating this would be if I had another three survivors in tow and they were being as stupid as they were earlier. It's just easier this way and you've got enough time to do it, so I don't know why everyone says to bring the other guys with you. It's counterproductive. I'm not ranting. And I can't touch this. <laughs> like, they literally can't touch me. It's brilliant. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of people say they don't like Dead Rising because they never know where to go or anything and they think it's stupid and they think you just spend all the time cutting up zombies and that all the weapons suck and da 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 Obviously those people didn't stick with the game long enough to start experimenting and finding out where things are and going, okay, so this happens over here at this time and I need to be over there at that time for this, so if I go grab him, then go there and I can pick up this weapon on the way. You know, which is the beauty of Dead Rising. After a, a few times, I might have said this before, I can't remember, but the first time you play, you will get your ass kicked. 